So the subtopics of scale we are going to cover in this video are definition, extension, structure, arterial supply, venous drainage, nerve supply and lymphatic drainage. Let's get started with the definition. So scalp is simply the soft tissue covering the cranial vault. Moving on to the extension of scalp. Let's understand with this with this image. Anteriorly scalp ka extension supra orbital margin tak hota hai. Posteriorly it extends up to external occipital protuberance and superior nuchal lines. And on each side or we can say laterally it extends along the margins of temporal lines as here the temporal bone situated hoti hai. Let's see the structure of scalp. Simply scalp five layers se form hoti hai. Aur inhe yaad rakhne ka mnemonic khud scalp hi hai. Let's see how. First layer is skin starting from S. Second is connective tissue. Here comes the C. It is also called superficial fascia. Then third layer is aponeurosis from A also known as deep fascia. Fourth layer is of loose areolar tissue starting from L. And the fifth layer that is last one is pericranium starting from P. That's how we can remember these layers in sequence by the name scalp itself. Out of these five layers, first three layers are known as scalp proper or surgical layers of scalp. Let's go in some details of each layer. Let's see some points about the first layer of scalp that is skin. It is thick and hairy and scalp ki skin be similar hoti hai with the skin of our body. The difference is scalp ki skin per exceptionally hairs ka amount baut zada hota hai. Okay now some points regarding the second layer that is connective tissue or also known as superficial fascia. This is subcutaneous means it lies just beneath the skin. Ye layer center mein zada fibrous hoti hai than the periphery. Ye skin jo ki first layer hai usko aponeurosis means third layer se connect karti hai. Most important it contains arteries, veins and nerves supplying scalp. You can see it clearly in the image. Then there is another thing about this layer wo ye कि जब भी इस लेयर में कोई कट आता है तो ब्लीडिंग बहुत ज्यादा यानी कि प्रोफ्यूसली होती है रीजन इज इस लेयर की टेंडेंसी होती है कि जो कट हो गई हुई वेसल्स होती है ये उनको ओपन करके ही रखती है इट होल्ड्स देम ओपन वी विल कवर दिस पॉइंट अगेन इन द क्लिनिकल ऑफ स्कैल्प नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द थर्ड लेयर दैट इज एपोन्यूरोसिस और डीप फेशिया इट इज आल्सो नोन एज गेरिया एपोन्यूरोटिका it contains occipital frontalis muscle here in this picture this is frontalis muscle anteriorly occipitalis posteriorly and this is galea aponeurotica connecting these two so simply ye jo aponeurosis hai anteriorly frontalis muscle isme insert hoti hai posteriorly occipitalis that's why we call it occipital frontalis it also moves freely over the pericranium Fourth layer is loose areolar tissue. Its extension anteriorly till eyelids hota hai and posteriorly superior nuchal lines. Tha. Important thing about this is it gives passage to imagery veins. Imagery veins connect extracranial veins to intracranial venous sinuses. Now the last layer you can see here between the skull bone and loose areolar tissue. This green one here is pericranium. This bone ki surface se loosely attached hoti hai, but sutures se firmly attached hoti hai. That's why it is removable except at the area of sutures. Let's move on to the blood supply to scalp. Is mein sabse pehle, let's take a look on the arterial supply. Scalp ki supply ke do hi main sources hain. External carotid artery gives direct branches and internal carotid artery gives branches to one of its branch that is ophthalmic artery. Now scalp mein jo artery supply karti hain unhe dekhte hain. This dotted line is dividing the whole scalp in two parts. One is front of the auricle and one is behind it. In front of auricle three arteries supply. 
फर्स्ट इज सुप्राड्रॉक्लियर आर्टरी इट इज द ब्रांच ऑफ ऑप्थेलमिक आर्टरी विच इन टर्न इज द ब्रांच ऑफ इंटरनल कैरोटेड आर्टरी सेकेंड इज सुप्रा ऑर्बिटल आर्टरी इट इज ऑल्सो द ब्रांच ऑफ ऑप्थेलमिक आर्टरी विच इज फर्दर इज द ब्रांच ऑफ इंटरनल कैरोटेड आर्टरी सो इन दोनों आर्टरीज का मेन सोर्स है इंटरनल कैरोटेड आर्टरी नाउ थर्ड वन इज सुपरफिशियल टेम्पोरल आर्टरी इट इज अ डायरेक्ट ब्रांच ऑफ एक्सटर्नल कैरोटेड आर्टरी नाउ द रिमेनिंग टू आर्टरीज लाइज पोस्टीरियर टू ऑरिकल द फोर्थ आर्टरी सप्लाइंग स्कैल्प इज पोस्टीरियर ऑरिकुलर आर्टरी इट्स नेमिंग इज जस्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू द लोकेशन इट्स अ डायरेक्ट ब्रांच ऑफ एक्सटर्नल कैरोटेड आर्टरी The fifth and last is occipital artery, also a direct branch from external carotid artery. So here on scalp, these two major arteries, external carotid artery and internal carotid artery, form anastomosis through these branches. Let's move on to the venous drainage of scalp. Scalp or face का venous drainage काफी similar होता है. so in this slide we will only focus on the drainage of scalp excluding the face part veins jo hai wo arteries ke parallel hi run karti hai name bhi as same as arteries honge to panch arteries scalp ko supply karti hai we have already discussed it similar to it five veins drains the scalp ab ye karti kaise hai wo dekhte hain supra trochlear aur supra orbital vein ye dono combine ho jayengi eye ke medial angle par and by joining with each other they will form this angular vein ab angular vein hi jaise aage run karegi isko hum facial vein bol dete hain we can say angular vein continues downwards as facial vein now let's take a look here this is superficial temporal vein ye maxillary vein ke sath join karke retromandibular vein form karegi retromandibular again दो डिवीजन बनाएगी एंटीरियर डिवीजन एंड पोस्टीरियर डिवीजन नाउ एंटीरियर डिवीजन ऑफ रेट्रोमेंडिबुलर वेन और फेशियल वेन ज्वाइन हो जाएंगे एंड दे विल फॉर्म अ न्यू वेन नोन एज कॉमन फेशियल वेन जो कि आगे जाके डायरेक्टली इंटरनल जुगुलर वेन में ट्रेन करेगी एंड द पोस्टीरियर डिवीजन विल ज्वाइन दिस फोर्थ वेन ऑफ स्कैल्प दैट इज पोस्टीरियर ऑरिकुलर और इससे फॉर्म होगी एक्सटर्नल जुगुलर वेन जो कि सबक्लेवियन में ड्रेन करेगी नाउ द लास्ट वेन विच इज ऑसिपिटल वेन ये डायरेक्टली सब ऑसिपिटल वीनस प्लेक्सिस में ड्रेन करती है और ये प्लेक्सिस सब ऑसिपिटल ट्राइंगल के अंदर सिचुएटेड होता है रिवाइजिंग अगेन इन फोर पॉइंट्स। फर्स्ट पॉइंट सुप्रा ड्रॉक्लियर एंड सुप्रा और बाइटल वेन विल ज्वाइन टू फॉर्म एंगुलर वेन विच विल कंटिन्यू एज फेशियल वेन सेकेंड पॉइंट सुपरफेशियल टेम्पोरल वेन will join with the maxillary vein to form retromandibular vein which will divide into anterior and posterior division third point anterior division of retromandibular vein will combine with facial vein to form common facial vein which ultimately will drain into internal jugular vein and posterior division will combine with posterior auricular vein to form external jugular vein which will ultimately drain into subclavian vein fourth and last point occipital vein will directly drain into the suboccipital venous plexus situated in suboccipital triangle now let's see the nerve supply of scalp scalp ko total 10 nerve supply karti hai on each side isme se 8 nerve sensory hoti hain and do motor hoti hain depending upon their area of supply that is in the front of auricle or behind the auricle they come from two major sources cranial nerves and cervical nerves cranial nerves gives branches to the area of scalp lying in front or anterior to auricle and cervical nerves gives branches to the area of scalp lying behind or posterior to auricle let's start naming the nerves pehle dekhte hain nerve supplying in front of auricle first is supra trochlear that is sensory second is supra orbital it is also sensory then this here is zygomatico temporal also sensory and this one is auricular temporal and it is sensory this here is the temporal branch of facial nerve and this is motor now nerves behind the auricle ye bhi panch hain first is greater auricular 
this is lesser occipital this here is greater occipital and this one is third occipital nerve ye charo sensory hai then this here is posterior auricular nerve and this is motor moving on to the lymphatic drainage of scalp now scalp ka lymphatic drainage two parts mein divide hokar drain hota hai anterior part and posterior part scalp ke anterior part se pura lymph auricle ke aage situated pre auricular ya jinhe hum parotid group of lymph nodes bhi bolte hain wahan drain hota hai एंड पोस्टीरियर पार्ट से पूरा लिम्फ कलेक्ट होके दो लिम्फ नोड्स में ड्रेन होता है पोस्टीरियर ऑरिकुलर और मेस्ट्रॉइड ग्रुप एंड ऑसिपिटल ग्रुप ऑफ लिम्फ नोड्स लेट्स टेक अ लुक ऑन द सिचुएशन ऑफ दीज लिम्फ नोड्स बाय दिस इमेज हियर इन ब्राउनिश कलर दीज आर प्री ऑरिकुलर और पैरोटेड ग्रुप ऑफ लिम्फ नोड्स दीज इन लाइट ग्रीन जस्ट बिहाइंड द ऑरिकल दीज आर पोस्टीरियर ऑरिकुलर और मेस्ट्रॉइड ग्रुप ऑफ लिम्फ नोड्स एंड दीज हियर इन पर्पल कलर these are occipital group of lymph nodes so guys that's all for today we will discuss about the clinical aspects of scalp in our next video till then stay connected and do subscribe also press the bell icon for more updates handwritten notes link is in description take a look and lastly thank you so much for watching